there's something magnetic about these figures. You can't help but touch them <laughs> and get close to them. And um, there's something very peaceful and calm about their presence. And it's really fun to watch the way people interact with them and also like are delighted by <laughs> both th like them in and of themselves but also what it evokes out of them like people are just compelled to move in ways that maybe they don't otherwise yeah I don't know I guess from like far away it's kind of weird and creepy and I don't know it's um a little mysterious but when you come in and kind of just hang out with one of them it's comfortable relaxing kind of it's like just kind of a break hanging out with someone who doesn't talk it's nice <laughs> i don't like talking so it's cool hang out with someone who definitely doesn't talk at all i'm actually from washington dc just in town for the weekend and was walking through and actually saw um someone i think it may, might be a homeless person sort of bundled up in a blanket with his head or his feet on the lap of one of the statues and i was kind of like oh that's kind of interesting you know if you need a friend, you can come hang out here in the park with these statues. I, mean, I have a four month old and haven't slept in about four months, so uh, coming up with some creative ways to take some photos seemed to be a really good idea at the time. So, <laughs> You get all these people posing with them and smiling and laughing and they're just talking to each other about them and it, like, it warms the whole place up and it's just like this really bizarre contrast between like these alien looking figures and everyone just like smiling and laughing and kind of getting involved with it. Maybe it's interesting what happens, like what, that we get to do kind of what we would want to do if we didn't think the other person was going to be bothered by it. Uh, that we just get to kind of like glom on and enjoy that. And I'm sort of finding out my thing is I like to touch people and touch their faces and their heads and stuff like that. I'm staring at this statue over here right now who has a very nice looking goatee on and now it's, it looks like it's drawn on with Sharpie. I can't tell. I'm not even going to like go up there and examine it. But just from right here, that is the beginning of a different phase of this art project, something that the artists the artist themselves did not plan for. They didn't plan for vandalism, but vandalism surely found it. It's the beginning of the rest of these faceless, of these personalityless entities becoming something different.